Hi everyone, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota, and I'm going to show you the Quad program. This is a program written for the TI-84 Plus calculators, where you can put in the coefficients of your quadratic equation, and it will do all kinds of crazy stuff for you. You will learn using the Quad program to find solutions to x, you will find out the axis of symmetry and the discriminant of the equation, you will be uh, able to see a graph, and you can even analyze the graph. Now, this will work on both the TI-84 Plus Color Edition, that would be this black one right here, and you can use this program on the older non-color TI-84 Pluses, which are just fine. As always, this program is supported by a nice little PDF, a 8xp file, and you can find these by going to andyborn.com slash math. They are here for you so you can uh, look at the code listing and see the example and you don't have to type in this program. You can uh, download it and install or if one of your friends already has this on their calculator you can use the link program and a cable and just copy it right like that. Okay let's get started. Uh, let's get started with this first example. Your quadratic equation has to be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. I've got a little uh, equation right here, and uh, here we're going to pick off the coefficients. The coefficients are the numbers in front of each one of these terms. So uh, we've got uh, 5 for our first coefficient a, 16 for our second coefficient b, and negative 18 for our third coefficient. Please don't make this mistake, that little negative sign follows the 18 when you're putting it into the program. And incidentally, a cannot be equal to zero. If you put in a zero here for a, it'll keep asking you a until it's something other than zero. All right, well, let's see how this works on the calculator. And okay, so here is our calculator. Press the program key and you'll find quad in there. Once you have it loaded in, press enter twice to execute it. And here we go. We're prompted to enter the coefficients. 5, 16, and the last one is negative 18. Be sure that you use the negative key, which is below the 3, instead of the subtract key. Because if you put in the subtract key, you'll get an error, and then you'll be wondering, what the heck happened? Okay, so once you get them all in, press Enter, and you get a nice little summary screen. So on your summary screen, you are told the discriminant, and it's important to know that one because uh, depending on if it's negative, zero, or positive, that'll determine the shape of the graph. The axis of symmetry, which is uh, right in the, I guess you could say, right down through the center of the, of the graph, like the mirror image, and of course what everyone wants, the two solutions. There might be one solution, but if there's two, it'll list them differently right here and then you'll it'll pause the screen you can write these down or whatever you want to do and then when you press enter then you get another menu of choices so let's go take a look okay so back to this it's still paused we pressed enter and here we've got a menu we can redo it we can put in a different set of coefficients by choosing one another ABC we can draw the graph or we can quit but let's keep things interesting. Let's draw the graph. Okay, now what makes this program uh, better than a lot of other quadratic programs out there on the net and on YouTube is that I adjust the field of view here for you so you see the interesting parts of the graph. You see where it uh, hits the x-axis and uh, here you see the symmetry, this line here going up and down, the vertical line, I drew it for you and here we can see it's hitting at right about negative uh, 1.6 and here's the x-axis the y-axis we can see that the interesting stuff in the graph is in quadrant 3 and that we've got a positive and negative solution this is all useful information in the graph and so here's what our graph looks like and yeah so like what are, what are these parts here again like uh, the axis of symmetry was uh, right right here there you go and uh, one of the solutions was 0.88, and that's that little part right over here. 
and the other solution was negative negative four right around there so yeah a lot of stuff on this graph that you know and like hey that's pretty good right okay now here's a second example all right suppose you get a quadratic equation that looks like this you got x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to zero this has no solutions we're going to analyze it using the graphing tools this yields an imaginary answer. It's, you know, you hate these. Uh, it's like, so you get to the part where you're using the quadratic formula, you're doing this by hand, and then you have to take the square root of a negative number, and then you get an imaginary number, and it's like, raging, and these are a huge hassle. And I know, I, I know what it's like. I, I teach this stuff. But with this program here, th these are going to be slick and easy to do. So let's here's how it, here's how it goes. Okay, so back to our previous one here. The graph was paused. I'm going to hit enter. We go back to the menu, and now we can choose number one here. We're going to do a, a one fresh. Okay, so the coefficients were one, negative six and 12 and we're gonna hit enter okay there it is let's take a look here we still get a discriminant it's negative that means that it's got no solutions it has an axis of symmetry you know they all do and here we see that uh, I've set the calculator to um, uh, the mode where it'll handle imaginary numbers so it doesn't bomb out with a square root negative number error 1 plus 1 1.7321i, there's a little i there, isn't that neat? Okay, good deal, so we'll just hit enter again, and let's draw the graph, and what do we got here? Okay, so this graph's a tiny bit different. Since this has no solution, and our graph is not touching the x-axis down here, yep, and no solutions, it's an imaginary answers for the roots of the equation. Now, I've adjusted the window here, or I should say the, the program adjusted the window where we can see where it, it uh, intercepts the y-axis. That could be useful. And here, this crosshair is right at the vertex of our parabola. This would be the minimum of the parabola here, the graph. And it also shows the axis of symmetry. But we can't analyze the graph right here in the screen, so we're going to hit Enter. And... Whoops, sorry folks, that's my cat. And we're going to go to quit. Hey, look at this message. Equation is in Y3. Yeah, that's right. So Y3 is in the Y editor. I put this equation in there. Now it doesn't have the coefficients, but in a way it does. Uh, the coefficients are inside A, inside B, and inside C. And this thing will graph just as nice as it did a second ago. And back to the calculator. Okay. Prove it, Mr. Bourne. Okay, I'll prove it. So I'm going to hit Y3. And there it is. And no work needed here. I'm just going to hit graph and cross my fingers. Whoops. And there it is. Good. All right. Okay. So hey, where's the extra stuff? Um, it's well it's it's not drawn here instead you can use the analysis tools by hitting second and then trace and if we want to find out that y-intercept we can put in a value of zero that would be right here at uh, the y-axis where x is zero and ba-boom we're told that uh, let me move that up that at x0, y is 12. So there's the y-intercept. Okay, well, let's find that minimum, huh? Uh, go to second, press trace. Let's look for the minimum. And we're going to use the right directional arrow key on the keypad to move our little x over here. And we're going to define a left and a right bound on either side of the lowest point of this parabola. So left bound right about there is good hit enter and we're gonna jog it continuing to the right here to get it on the other side and hit enter again and then hit enter a third time 
And we see the minimum is at 2.9999. That's rounded to 3. And that's at location Y3. Okay, you have watched this for about 10 minutes now, and that's plenty of time. That's about when people start to shut down and don't pay attention anymore. Again, this is at andyborn.com slash math. Sorry about the cat in there. You can find a PDF, the file. It's all good. There's other videos there. Thanks for watching, everyone.